Crude oil is our most active market today. One of the reasons we like to trade it in multi-system approach. Taking a look at our gap fill and reverse crude oil. The trade that we had talked about last was the V-bottom trade. Had the potential for that, but it rolled over. We talked about the possibilities of that, and it did that. And today we're in it again. Gap fill. Filled the gap. And we had the weekly inventories come out today since Monday was a holiday. And so we're looking at what could happen here. Um, will this reverse or will it turn around and get stop loss? We don't know. We can't predict it. Um, doesn't pay. Doesn't make sense to sit around rooting for, for price action. But if you uh, look, look at the best case scenario, um, we're currently short on the weekly inventories with a 70 point profit target. So 51, 52 is the profit target for this. And the stop loss for this strategy is $500. And so long at 51.83, so 51.33. So the best case scenario is um, between these two strategies, we're flat because we're short weekly inventories, long gap fill fade, gap fill and reverse crude. And so if this market, if the market goes down to, to a price between uh, 52 or 51, 52, and 51, 33, I mean, it'll get stopped out. So then we'll be net long. We'll be net long at 51, 52, um, because weekly inventories will um, not be stopped out, but it'll hit its profit target. So it'll hit its profit targets. So we'll then be net long on gap fill and reverse crude with about a $200, $190 uh, away from its stop loss at 51, 52, because the, the stop loss for this is 51, 33. So if you're not familiar with multi-system strategies, um, that's that's the scenario that could unfold on the profitable side. The um, what could also happen is this market could rally, and crude oil weekly inventories could get stopped out, and it could get stopped out at 52, 52, if it rallies back to that point. In which case, this strategy, uh, gap fill and reverse, gap fill fade, will be up about $700. But then, if the market were then to roll over and get stopped out. That would be the worst case scenario. So if you got all these strategies, we're trading in crude and taking a look at the net positions, we get stopped out in the crude oil after hours. It was up about $500 and uh, came back down. Um, but the net position, net, net profit and loss for all these is you see slightly profitable, plus 160, plus 220, and minus 325 intraday right now. And so there's a lot of price actions. It's difficult to capture the weekly inventories or the after hours got stopped out at 51.83. And then crude oil uh, gap fill in reverse got long at 51.83 as well. So those kind of canceled out. If you'd seen that coming, um, if you'd seen that trade coming close to the time frame, you could have disabled the automation on these strategies and, and then turned them back on and then turn this one back on. Um, or both back on because uh, they would have canceled each other out. You could have saved a slippage in commission transaction on that. And so um, instead of selling and buying at the same price, uh, if you see that coming in advance, you can you have the opportunity to do that. And so sometimes I do that, and it helps with the transaction costs when you see that coming. And so once again, not to be confused, uh, Curl after hours was long. It got stopped out at the same time. It got stopped out, got filled in reverse, got long. And so we've been basically flat um, overall today with trades close to break even, uh, maybe plus $50 uh, total profit, and we're flat. And so um, <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what happens um, to these trades the rest of the day and keep you updated. Tick Pulse is currently short, plus $200. And Cobra Euro is it had a losing trade today on a short trade. SR Counter Trend Gold doesn't trade much, so I like to keep you updated when it does. This was yesterday's trade, and long it got out at a resistance level. And the other strategies in the 50k and 100k portfolios, they're all currently flat. Soybean Mill was long, and it close the trade on a small profit but it's a loss on the day as the market gap down and the strategy exited and it's rallying back a little bit so those are the results of these strategies not a lot of activity with three of the last four Mondays being holidays so we're looking forward to next week 
as the trading year actually picks up a little bit more. So I wanted to tell you about a webinar. Next Wednesday, January the 25th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Trade Station will be hosting a webinar that I will be presenting on gap fill and crude oil. It's the gap fill and reverse strategy from our book, Algorithmic Trading Systems. You can click on this link here. I'll have it also above this video. Uh, you will come to this page. You can register now. It's a free video. And again, January 25th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And it's over my book, algorithmictradingsystems.com. And in, that, in, in this book, you can learn about all three of the crude oil strategies that we just discussed in this video that are taking trades today. And so you can also learn about the E-mini S&P. If you get the members area, you can download all the software, not only for TradeStation, but for NinjaTrader. And it also works in multi-chart. So that's the update for today. Trade well.